Hey guys, so this is going to be the finish video for my Chatelaine Mini Mandala set. Um, I got this whole pack from europeancrossstitch.com, which I think is just eurox.com. I'll link that down below though. And what you get in that kit is the fabric, three, three separate pieces of fabric, three cards of Petite Treasure Braid, three water lilies, and I think it's five types of Mill Hill beads. The way these are set up is um, each little mini mandala has one water lily that goes with it, one metallic that goes with it, and then its own kind of its own bead color, plus there's a gold and then there's like a pearl or a just a clear colored bead that go on all of them. So that entire kit from European Cross Stitch was $47.50. That includes the fabric, the water lilies, the treasure braid, the beads. That's it. You have to buy the, the chart separately and it's going to run you $20 to $24, I think, depending on if you pick like a paper pattern or a digital file. But I know that seems like a lot, $47.50, but that's probably the most cost effective you're going to find if you want to do a Chatelaine. Um, I think that's a bargain, frankly, considering the price of the big mandalas. This is a good place to start. If, like me, you had never done one before and you just kind of wanted to try, I'm sure you could kit up, you know, the chart or the set on your own. The water lilies aren't that rare. The treasure braid is in really basic colors. And the beads, the gold and the, the clear ones, I had already. So they're in a lot of mirabilias. So that's something you might want to think about. Um, but yeah, on the whole, I think this is a really inexpensive kit from European Cross Stitch in order to try some Chatelaine designs. Um, so this was my first, my first project that I'd ever worked just off the computer. Um, I bought the digital file and I did try and print it out, which would have been okay because these patterns are still pretty small, small enough that you can have it open on one page and see all of it. Um, it won't be very big, <laughs> but that's not really something that's practical with the big mandalas. So I ended up just kind of zooming in to different parts of it, uh, but the, the patterns were small enough, the designs are small enough that it wasn't super overwhelming. Um, the pieces of fabric you get are 10 and a half by 10 and a half inches, and there's a pretty good amount of clearance. That's just the first one there. So I'll just kind of generally show you the three separate mandalas and then we will get into the close-up. So this is the first mini mandala. This is the second mini mandala. And the third one. So they're all pretty much the same size. They do make a really nice set visually. They all tie into each other really nicely. If you did want to frame them all kind of side by side. And um, as I mentioned, I'll put this all down below, but if you're looking for it on the European Cross Stitch website, it's Mini Mandala 1, I think. Let me check. Mini Mandala's 1. Okay, so let's get into the close-up. Another thing I should say quickly before we actually get to the close-up is if you stay tuned all the way until the third mini mandala, the one I finished last, you'll hear a really hilarious story of a humongous mistake I made and hopefully it will keep you from making the same mistake. All right, so this is the first mini mandala and I guess I'll start um, kind of in the center and then we'll just go around the border is the easiest way I think to do this. Um, so this is the first one I did, my first Chatelaine. You can see it has this really beautiful like fountain uh, visual in the middle here. And there are a couple of specialty stitches, but they're not that... I think this one just had eyelets in metallic. 
Um, I think the whole set only has two or three specialty stitches, and it does come with diagrams. Um, these actually were not as intimidating as I thought they would be. That I think this is a really good set to start with. Um, we'll just go around the border here. So there's a little gate, I think, <laughs> at each um, at each side here in the middle, and then those beads all the way along the outside. I think this one might be my favorite still, actually. Um, I don't know if these are supposed to be like rose bushes or... I just really like the colors and I like the shape of it. I think, yeah, this one is a really special one. So that is the first mini mandala. So this is the second mini mandala. It's not crooked, I swear. <laughs> the fabric's just a little warped from uh, where I've been holding it and kind of folding it, so suspend your disbelief with that. Um, so we'll just go into the middle here. You can see there's a little water piece in the middle and then I, I don't know if these are supposed to be like plants or more gates. I don't know, it's never really clear. Um, a lot more eyelets in this one with that beautiful variegated water lily. And this one, the kind of accent is that it has this beautiful wrought iron fence around the entire piece, which is meticulously backstitched in metallic. That one was a bit of a pain, <laughs> but it does look really pretty. Um, and then it has this border of specialty stitches in the same variegated thread. So this one obviously has a much more defined shape with this border. Um, I think it would have looked nice just with the wrought iron actually, like just, just this inner part. It would have mirrored the shape of the last one really well. Uh, but when you see the third one, it has more of a defined border too. Also there's a little bit of back stitching right in the corner here, but uh, just in this little plant. But that's kind of the extent of your of your specialty stitches. We've just had um, eyelets, and this one, and that's kind of it. So if you're worried about that, this is definitely not the most intensive as far as specialty stitch goes. And that is the second mini mandala. So this is the third mini mandala, the one I really drag my feet on <laughs> as far as finishing. Um, I'll just go into the center first. So there's a few more eyelets in here. This is all kind of water, all kind of a water motif. Um, these are all beads, this uh, bit in the middle, which gives some nice texture, although I had a really hard time getting those all to lay in their spots. Um, I'm not sure why. This is the fabric that was recommended, and it's the bead that was recommended. Maybe it just naturally takes a little bit of work. Um, so yeah, just eyelets, I think, in this one, as far as specialty stitches. And then when we start to go around the border, you'll see it has that beautiful fence again, or gate, sorry, I should say. And then these little kind of hanging baskets of flowers. And this uh, corner motif is really pretty too. These are so well charted, just like you really get a feel for kind of like the greenery and the water, the fountains, the garden. They're really, really special. And uh, this is about the time when I should tell you my, <laughs> my mistake. So I think I posted on Instagram when I was doing this one that this one had a lot of really like intense backstitching. And if you look at that photo, I had all of these little like um, diamonds of backstitch in, in here. And that was the part that was a real pain in the butt. Here's the funny thing. I didn't need to do any of those. <laughs> um, that's the symbol for the bead. So what happened was, um, in each mini mandala, there is, uh, there's kind of like a specific bead that goes in it, like, I'll just bring the other two out here. So the first one has this blue bead, and also the kind of the clear and gold beads. This one, what color bead does this one have? This one might just have the gold and silver, actually. Unless it's right in front of... Oh, no! These are, um... These are little lavender beads. You can't really tell because the, the color is so light, but they're like a really light purple. 
plus the silver and gold. And then this one, uh, when I was ready to bead, just had the silver and gold. And so I had these beads, these kind of like green auburn beads that just didn't go anywhere. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I missed a bead. And it has to go on this one because this is the only one that doesn't have a special bead on it. So I looked in the pattern and I realized that the green diamond that I had manually stitched into all of these little windows was actually the symbol for the bead. It just happened to be the same color green as this thread that I was backstitching with. So there's a little warning for you. If you're doing too much backstitching, none of it is necessary. So I just went through and put a bead over top of each one of those little diamonds I backstitched. I don't know if you can see it. I think the beads covered them pretty well. But um, so yeah, this color that I was using to backstitch, like you can see it in the leaves here, it looked on the pattern the same as the symbol for the bead, which was a green diamond. So I just backstitched all those little diamonds and I didn't need to do any of them because they were actually beads. <laughs> so there's a hilarious story for you. Um, yeah, and that is the third mini Mandela. All right guys, so that is a look at the Mini Mandalas 1 set that I ordered from European Cross Stitch. I really encourage you to give it a try if you're thinking of doing a chatelaine but it seems too intimidating. And I understand that because I just started my big one and it is pretty intimidating. Um, give something like this a try. Like I said, you can kit it up yourself. You don't need to buy the specialty threads if you don't want to. If you just want to try, it's going to run you maybe $20, $24 for the pattern. And then you can put whatever beads you want on there or whatever. You can use whatever specialty thread you want. It's a really nice way to just kind of try one of the designs because they are symmetrical and it is a little bit of a different experience just to read the pattern, especially if, like me, you were trying to read it on your computer when you're typically like a paper pattern person. So yeah, give it a try. I will link the website down below and the specific like page for this kit down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.